Right guys, how's it going now? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Manchester United match preview. This week we are hosting Leicester City at Old Trafford in Saturday evening's late kickoff, half past five. And we're looking at keeping our good early season form and momentum going. But before we get stuck into things previewing that match, make sure to drop a like on the video as always if you are still enjoying these videos. And if you've not already done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. So, as I say, we are going to be hosting Leicester City tomorrow evening at Old Trafford. But let's have a look back at last weekend's games for both sides. United got another 4-0 win. Back-to-back 4-0 -back wins for the first time since I can remember. <laughs> for a long, long while at least anyway. And... The game against Swansea, I did my um, my review in the in a specific video for that, so I'll put a link in the eye in the top right hand corner if you've not already seen that, if you want to go and check that out. But uh, yeah, it was a bit tough in the first half. Uh, we got a goal, at a, we got the opening goal at a really pivotal time, just before half time. Then in the second half, Swansea had to abandon the defensive formation, and we then took full advantage, being really clinical, uh, especially on the counter attack with getting three goals in the space of about five minutes, uh, which really, really shows how much we've evolved our play, or at least it's a nice change from our play from last year where we were creating chances left, right and centre and couldn't take them to this season, especially in that second half period against uh, Swansea, where we were really clinical, especially in that last quarter of the game. Really, really nice to see, and hopefully we can keep that going this season. Leicester City, on the other hand, uh, their starts of the season, uh, they've been decent, they've been pretty impressive. Um, they've reverted back to their 4 4 2, which obviously they won the Premier League a couple of years back with. And they kicked off the season against Arsenal and were unlucky not really not to come away with at least a point. Um, they exposed Arsenal's weaknesses at the back on uh, several times, and it wasn't for a little bit of poor defending on Leicester City's own behalf. They'd have gotten at least a point. And then last week, the they got their first win on the board against Brighton at home. And they got a really solid 2-0 victory. The only thing that kind of marred that performance last week for Leicester was that uh, Jamie Vardy picked up a little bit of a knock. Now, I don't know if he's back fully fit and back in the squad for this week or he's going to be missing it. I'm not sure. But if he misses it, obviously that's a big, big miss for Leicester City. They did play in midweek. In the League Cup or the Rumbleos Cup or the Carabao Cup or whatever it's called this week. And uh, they got a really good 4-1 victory away at Sheffield United, I believe. Um, so they're keeping a little bit of momentum going after last week's win. So it's not going to be an easy game. I don't really see another 4-0, uh, even though we did beat them 4-0 last year, um, I think. Or 4-1. I think it was 4-0. Uh, but... Um, I can't really see another four four goals on the cards for United, but then again, I couldn't last week, so who, who knows? Who knows? As far as Leicester City's transfer activity this summer, um, they've brought in Harry Maguire, who's a pretty solid sign. He's gone straight into the England squad for the uh, for the couple of Euro uh, qualifiers for the European Championships or World Cup, whichever one it is. Shows how much I care about England. Um, uh, and they've also signed Ibora as well. Uh, Maguire's impressed. Ibora's kind of gone on the radar a little bit. Um, I'm not even sure he played in the first game against Arsenal, which I watched. Can't remember him doing, but either way, I think he'll be a decent signing for him. Obviously, former captain of Sevilla, so he's got a big bit of experience to come into that central midfield area. Uh, as I say, I don't think it's going to be an easy game against Leicester City, but changing gears really from the opposition to ourselves. Uh, some of the news that's come out this week uh, from United, obviously the big one is the return of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who signed a new uh, one-year extension to his contract. He's been given the number 10 shirt, obviously, that was worn prior by Wayne Rooney, who's now gone back to Everton. It was widely on the cards anyway, and... I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see him come in for another year. Um, any longer, I'd have been a bit suspect because I do think that h h keeping him longer than that period would have hindered the development of Lukaku, uh, Rashford and Martial and what have you. Uh, but just that, he's only really going to be fit for about six, seven months at an absolute top, really. And that's if he comes back all guns blazing from that, uh, from that bad injury that he suffered last year. Um, but 
at that point, he could be a really big kick in the arm for United. Uh, similar to how Henrik Larsson was about 10 years back or so, uh, when he came in for the last half of the season and uh, really helped us push us over the line in terms of getting the league title. Uh, I certainly hope that Zlatan Ibrahimovic can come in and have the same impact that the other Swedish legend that we had in the club did. So uh, so that's the biggest bit of news coming out as, as far as transfers go. We also had the Champions League draw where United have been drawn against Benfica, uh, Baal, Basel, Baal, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it, and um, CSK in Moscow. Pretty happy with the group. The only real issue is the CSKA game, um, travelling all the way over to Russia. But I do think that's at the right at the end of the uh, of the group stage. So hopefully we've got things tied up by then. We really should be topping the group uh, with the teams that we've been drawn against. I don't really fear any of them. Um, the only slight niggling doubt is the impact that a tr that a trek to CS uh, to Moscow and then back for a game. I think the game is actually against Chelsea. I believe. Uh, I might be wrong on that, but that's a little that could be a little, hinder us a little bit. But hopefully not. As I say, hopefully we've put the group to bed by then, and we can just put out a second string side over in Russia. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that, and that's pretty much wraps up all the news for this week for United. Uh, now moving kind of onto the team that I would like to see us line up with against Leicester City. Now you could argue that should stick with the same side, uh, the four. 2-3-1 formation with Matter in that number 10 role. Um, they played that back-to-back -back weeks and got four, two 4-0 four wins back-to-back. -back. But I do feel there's a couple of things that need tweaking. Um, I would like to see us go with Herrera in place of Juan Mata uh, and basically pull him back a little bit and push Pogba a little bit further on. Um, I do feel that that's, especially in the second half against Swansea, when Mata did come off and Fellaini came on, I do think that when we push Pogba a little bit further forward, he and the likes of uh, Mkhitaryan, Lukaku and Martial when he came on linked up beautifully. And I hope that that is a sign of things to come this season. So I would like to see Herrera come in for Juan Mata, who I didn't think had the greatest of games against Swansea. And then also on the left-hand side, Marcus Rashford. Um, he had a good game against West Ham the first weekend of the season. And then against Swansea, I thought it was a little bit hit and miss. He had another one of those chances where he went clean through on, on the goalkeeper and it a really, really tame shot straight into the keeper's hands. And uh, it's the latest in a long line of those one-on-ones that he seems to uh, not be as clinical with. So I would like to see Anthony Martial, who is in pretty good form himself. He scored two goals in about 40 minutes of game time this season already. So I would like to see Martial get a start. And I think he deserves so after his performances off the bench. So the team for me, I would go with the hearing goal back for unchanged of uh, Valencia, uh, uh, Bay and uh, Jones, who I think Bay and Jones have been pretty good, pretty steady in the uh, first two games of the season. And then Blint at left back. I know Luke Shaw came through the under 23s earlier in the week, but I can't see him starting again this soon. Won't surprise me if he's on the bench. Uh, but I would go with Blint to start against Leicester. Midfield, I would go with the holding midfield two of Matic and Her Herrera. Then I would go with Mkhitaryan on the right. Pogba just ahead of the uh, just ahead of Herrera and uh, Matic. And on the left, Anthony Martial with the big man, Romelu Lukaku, pushed up front, leading the line. I think that's strong enough to continue our moment, decent momentum at the start of the season and get us another three points to stay at the top of the uh, top of the table. Even though at this stage it doesn't really mean that much, uh, we just want to just want to try and get as many points on the board as we can with our relatively easy start to the season. When you've got the likes of like, this weekend Liverpool and Arsenal, who one of them are at least going to drop points. You've got Chelsea and Tottenham. Who dropped points last week, or one of them did anyway? You've got City playing uh, City, uh, sorry Chelsea playing Everton again, so that's not an easy that's not an easy game for them. So they could potentially drop points. So we need to crack on and try and get as many points on the board before we end up coming up against some of the more testing opposition in the Premier League. As far as the scoreline, as I say, I can't see it being another four nil uh, result. I think Leicester are probably the strongest side we've faced this season so far. 
Uh, but I do still think we'll, we should be uh, beating them. I'm going to go 2-0. I'm going to go 2-0, 2-1 Manchester United. Uh, I know that's what I went with last week. So if I can, if I get it wrong and it's another 4-0 one like last week, I'll be more than happy. But uh, I'm going to say 2-0, 2-1, something like that to Manchester United with Romelu Lukaku getting another one to add to his early season account. As always, lads, let me know in the comment section uh, what you think about the team. Would you change anything in the in the side? Uh, would you go with the team that I've picked? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know what you think the scoreline is going to be on Saturday evening. And also, let me know what you think of the Champions League group that United have been drawn in. Uh, do you think we should be qualifying with ease? Do you, are you hesitant like me about the trip to Moscow and what have you? Let me know in the comment section. But as always, if you are still enjoying these videos, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And other than that, lads, I will catch you next time.